What's going on everybody? How you doing and welcome. My name is Lloyd PD TV. I am here to enlighten you a little bit about World of Warcraft and other games and we're going to be talking in a moment about the new Apex changes and things that are being brought in to Mythic Pluses for Season 1 of The War Within. Uh, first thing I would like to ask you all is to make sure you hit that subscribe button here. We have the hours. We need the subs to monetize. I greatly appreciate it and love you. If you could please do that. If you have any like critiques or anything like that you want to place into the comments, I would greatly appreciate it. Please be you know felt about those. Thank you very much. And uh, make sure you check out Spawn Point Coffee. Uh, you know we have a partnership with them, PD Twenty. And we can end up, uh, you know, getting you a good deal there for some delicious coffee. So what we're going to talk about now, normally we talk about what the affixes are going to be every single week. This is the first week as always, and we're not 100% positive, but I want to make sure you know what we presently have and how those are going to be working. So we can consider this the week one informational drop that we're going to be giving you, but for all purposes we're going to be talking about that stuff now i have a lot of this information in front of me and i'm going to try to kind of talk about most things in general uh very quickly for you all so the first thing i want to talk to you about is uh the dungeons that are going to be brought in it's going to be akara city of echoes the stone vault um dawnbreaker city of threads miss of tyranna scythe the necrotic wake Siege of Boralus, Grim Batal. All of those are, you know, the, the dungeons that are going to be there. You got the four new and the four old. We're going to be talking about individual dungeons in the future and how you, they can affect you and what you can end up doing to kind of work through them. All the timers and all that other stuff, you know, they're in there. Uh, they're they're pretty good. They're, they're not too bad to work with. We've kind of seen them and we've tested some of them and played them, them all. Um, so the next thing we want to talk about is, you know, what those loot tables are going to be looking like, um, you know, from one to six is going to, I'm sorry, from two to six is going to be dropping champion loot, um, in those dungeons. And then seven to 10 are going to be your hero drops. And then for the great vault from two is going to be champion three to nine is going to be your hero and then 10 is going to be your mythic and you know in the end what you're going to want to end up doing is you're going to end up working on your tens and then you're going to continue through your tens to get that mythic loot unless you don't really care that much you care about the hero loot then by all means seven is probably your best place for that because you're going to get hero in the, uh, in the front end of the end of the dungeon and also the end uh so and then after that the damage modifiers and things like that they you know they scale up so um it starts at zero percent at two and then uh three is 21 33 46 61 77 95 114 and then 136 percent health and damage modifier increase for mythic 10 and then after that it just starts to really skyrocket because anything higher than that, want they want that to be a challenge. Now, they've removed a lot of stuff and changed a lot of things involving the keystones that are going to be coming in that you're going to have to deal with. At keystone level 2, you're going to be getting something called Zelotath's Bargain. Now, Zelotath's Bargain is going to have four different variations. Uh, so, I'm going to go through those one at a time. Um, Ascendant is that... Zelotath is going to show up. It's going to summon ten orbs of ascension, of ascension, and they're going to and they're going to be casting those balls. If those orbs go off, um, and they they'll and hit a mob, they're going to buff the mob with movement speed and haste. But if we stop that, and do we like displace those mobs that are going to come up and uh, with some crowd controlling effect or purging them or something like that? we will receive the 2% haste. I'm sorry, 2% movement speed and haste. And uh, we're going to be getting that for a maximum of 20%. The next thing is uh, void bound. While in combat, uh, Zelotath uh, is, summons a uh, emissary, and it will empower nearby enemies. 
you have to burn that person down and and because of that because those emissaries are going to reduce the damage taken to the others now upon killing that you're going to be able to get yourself with a 20 percent ability cooldown and a 10 percent crit rate increase for 10 i'm sorry sorry for 20 seconds the next thing is going to be oblivion which means Zaltap is going to produce crystals that are going to um be absorbed by enemies or players the goal here is that you're going to want to absorb the crystals before they collide with enemy targets the players that absorb these are going to give them mastery and leech uh, for each orb that hits the mobs the mobs are going to get a 10 percent reduction of damage devour is going to be the next one which is a zealotath is going to cost a cast a void rift absorb shield on all 10 players they can remove it by healing it off or dispelling it of, by using any dispel and if you do not remove that it's going to heal the monster 10 percent of their health if you do remove the shield for all of them you're going to get something called lingering void which is a two percent increase in health and four percent crit rate now that is keystone two now it used to be that you're going to deal you used to deal with tyrannical and fortified at two that's no longer the case that's going to be at keystone four you're going to deal with four either tyrannical or fortified each week so let's say it's a fortified week at keystone level four you're going to deal with your fortified on all the bosses now just to make sure you understand tyrannical means you know the bosses are going to have 30 percent more health they're going to deal 15 percent more damage and on fortified the the non-boss enemies are going to have 20 percent more health and they're going to, their damage is going to be increased by 20 percent and like i said they're going to rotate each week now at, at keystone level seven they're adding something called challenger's peril now that means that every time you die you are going to be losing 15 seconds on the timer that's instead of the normal five that that you would have prior to this that makes you need to kind of way out if if what you're doing is worth it because some groups would rather take the death than skip a pack of mobs so that's why that comes into play <clears throat> and then at 10 you're going to get the other affects so let's say you have tyrannical at level four here you're going to get fortified and vice versa if you have fortified at four you're going to have tyrannical at 10. So you're going to have that to place and move back and forth and then the ne and then the next thing you have is at keystone level 12 which is called the removal of zealotath's bargain which it then becomes zealotath's guile which means it gives a flat 20 percent increase to health and damage to the mobs and you will no longer be getting any bonuses from the bargain variables that you get at level two now this is going to cause you once you hit level 12 to have a lot more pressure to go up and complete things so it seems like it's a pretty pretty much self-explanatory there's no more of the old stuff there's no sanguine there's no um what's it called there's no bursting there's none of that stuff they removed all that stuff and this is the guide for what you're going to be looking at forward so it's going to be really, really interesting to see how this is going to work into the future and going forward. I think that this is going to really change the aspect of the gameplay. It's going to really also change how mythic pushing, uh, mythic pushing, mythic groups push the mythic dungeon international, all that stuff. I'm really excited to see it. So I'm intrigued. So thanks again, everyone for listening to this here. Uh, every single Monday through Friday, I'm on twitch.tv and also on YouTube. Please come check us out. I greatly appreciate and love all the support. Um, try to produce a community that, you know, is very, very happy and very much chill and fun to be part of. So hopefully going forward, you know, you can come check us out and see how that goes. 
for those of us who support the channel, you know how, where it is. It all is behind, underneath us. Uh, I greatly appreciate and love you all. Dream big, keep gaming. Good luck on your vault. You will be seeing my vault video, which will be coming out this week also. So I can't wait it. Uh, to, I can't wait it. I can't wait to talk to you all. Thank you. Bye, everybody.